Hi, I'm Ray Mitchell. Two years ago, I came here before you, the voters of Fall River, asking for your support in my quest to represent you on the City Council. With your support, I was elected, and I feel that I have kept my promises to the voters of Fall River. One of the areas of concern was the need for change in the zoning for the development of our waterfront. As a newly elected councillor, I spoke with Jim Hartnett and the newly elected mayor about the need for improved zoning on our waterfront so that we could realize development. I am happy to say that through the efforts of many individuals, we were successful. We now have a new and improved zoning and currently have a developer who is renovating the old Quaker fabric mill on Duval Street. In the very near future, in this very building, Fall River will have a Jerry Remy's restaurant and other businesses will prosper. This could not have happened without that rezoning. I truly believe that this is the first of many projects that we will see on our waterfront. I have been a strong supporter of economic development in our community. When it came to my attention that the company located in our industrial park was leaving because of a lack of fiber optics in the area, I met with them to explore a, sol a solution to this problem. Working together and with a colleague, we were able to resolve this issue to everyone's satisfaction. A company that would have left this area is now prospering and expanding because of our efforts. We are currently working with the Industrial Park Tenant Association to bring fiber optics to the entire industrial park. At the present time, I am talking to a company that is looking to locate in the New England area. I am hoping to convince them to come to Fall River. Two years ago, I spoke of my concerns about public safety. It came to my attention that scam artists were working in our neighborhoods trying to sell bogus home improvement contracts. I initiated a new ordinance in Fall River that requires door-to-door -door salesmen and their representatives to have a quarry check through the Fall River Police Department. Upon certification of a quarry, these individuals and representatives are issued a picture identification card. Now the citizens of Fall River know that only those who have such identification are legitimate business representatives. I designed and co-sponsored an anti-litter ordinance, which increased the littering fines from $100 to $300. The increased $200 stays with the police department, hopefully to hire more police personnel. This program was also expanded to allow the state's DEP to set up cameras in areas that people are known to litter so that we can stop the litter that has so frequently been seen in our community. Education is another area of concern to all of us. If we are going to attract businesses into our community and if Fall River is going to grow and prosper, we need to have an educational system that makes our students competitive. At the present time, we are building a biopark to attract pharmaceutical companies to Fall River where our citizens can work. We need to improve our educational system to meet those demands. That is why I supported an increase in the educational budget. These are but a few of the initiatives that I have taken in the first two years as your city councilor. Because I am retired, I am a full-time city councilor and will continue to be. I not only have the passion to institute change, but the time to devote to Fall River. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been my honor to serve you as a city councilor, and I ask that you consider me when you vote November 8th. Please vote Ray Mitchell, your full-time city councilor. Thank you.